Hey everyone, welcome back to EXP Family Tree Wednesday training and mastermind. I'm super excited because today we have somebody joining us from EXP Realty and the Revenos program, which is Kelvin Zalea. He's the REO manager. Did I say that right, Kelvin? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, <laughs> I usually do the Spanish pronunciation, but Zalea is the English one, so it's okay. Okay, so Zelaya? Yeah. Maybe? Is we'll that check right? you out. Yes, you okay. did. Okay, okay, sweet. I didn't know because most of the time I try to be all fancy and do that. And then they're like, oh no, I just say Zalea. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I never know which way to go. It's so okay. Calvin is going to join us today and talk about EXP Revenos, which many of you may not even know exists, to be honest. If you're not, you know, staying up to date all the time with everything going on with our company, this could be something new for you. Um, if you know a little bit about it, then you're going to learn more about it. So I'm very excited to bring this to you. The biggest thing about eXp Realty that I've learned in the last 15 months being here is that there's so much that we can take advantage of. We just honestly don't probably take the time to learn all the things and to plug in and engage like we should. Any company is only as valuable as you uh, know about it or use it. Um, and there is so much available to us. And so today, one of my uh, goals is that you know more about something that you can take advantage of for your business. Uh, for helping your team members or the people that you're bringing over to this company and so forth. And so as always, we are live in EXP Family Tree. So hi to you guys that are watching live. Thanks to you guys that are joining us live here on Zoom. We will be recording this and posting it out on my YouTube. Um, that'll be up in 24 hours. If you want to grab this and share it with somebody outside of EXP, of course, it has remained live streamed in EXP Family Tree forever. So you can always go back in there and watch it if you want to as well. So without further ado, welcome, Kelvin. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm going to let you kind of take it away, but I'll probably ask you some questions along the way as well. And those of you that are watching, please chat in the chat box if you do have something, and we will leave time uh, at the end for questions. Thank you so much, Carrie, and uh, thank you everyone for coming and attending and watching uh, live stream. Uh, we're super excited about Revenos, and it was announced at EXPCon 2022. That's when it first came out. Um, it was, you know, we were waiting in anticipation to make sure to make this announcement, and we finally did it. And uh, Revenos is the name. Um, it really doesn't have like an actual meaning to it, but it's just the name that we put together for all our, our business units that provide buyer and seller leads to our EXP agents. We're excited to be able to have uh, such an innovative group of leaders here that are always looking to make you know uh, the experience a lot better for you, our agents, and bring you leads. And we have such great leadership, such as Don Conchatori and Leo Pareja. Um, they're just uh, fantastic at generating these leads and bringing the business over to us here at EXP to be able to give to you, our agents. And uh, you know we love uh, the ability to give you guys leads and just um, being able to part of it. So the Revenos is EXP's buyers and sellers referral engine. So when you go to the clients, you you say, well, we have this and that. Well, now we just said we have our Revenos and Revenos is our buyer and seller engine. And that is properties, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, companies or business divisions that are under Revenos. So what do we do here with Revenos, right? We establish global strategic relationships and we do that at the highest level that we can with the companies. And this allows us to be able to build and, you know, expand on these relationships to be able to generate business for you, our agents and get leads and, um, you know, just be able to bring you the business. And we provide referrals to our EXP agents. And we do this on a daily basis. Uh, ever since it started on January back in 2021, we've given out over 7,000 leads to our agents. So we want to make sure that, you know, you know that we are here and we're available to help you grow your business. I think last year alone, we were over 5,000 leads. And uh, I think just in the month of December of last year, we had over 950 plus, uh, close to 1,000 leads that were uh, given out. So, so we can see it's trending up because absolutely. overall it's been 5,000 um, or overall it's been 7,000 7, or 8,000. Then it was 5,000 in a short period of time and now it's 1,000 in one month. So yeah. it seems to me that this is possibly ramping up a little bit. It is ramping up and we're excited and, uh, you know, we were just excited because I think from Nov from August, September to October, it just jumped up tremendously. And, uh, you know, the more people we have available to be able to provide these leads, the better it's going to be for everybody, right? And we know that you guys are also recruiting and bringing people, you know, and have downstreams. This is a fantastic opportunity for them to be able to continue to grow their business. And we don't only just give you the leads, we also provide the training for you. We 
we have right now ongoing, we have REO certification. We started yesterday with module number one. We have tomorrow module number two, and you can take the modules in any order. So we know you guys are busy. So if you only have the opportunity to attend one module this series, you can take them in any order. You don't have to take them in order and there's no prerequisite and you just don't have to even sign up or register. You just come to the class, you know, listen to the class and you're going to get certified. So we're super excited about that. Um, so like I said, REO, I'm the REO manager here at EXP, but you know, we do talk about all, all our business units because there's so many opportunities here. And uh, just going to give you some quick statistics just on uh, REO and uh, what's going on with it. So the REOs are when the lender repossesses a property that has gone through foreclosure process. It went to court auction. It did not sell. And once it did not sell, then it reverts back to the bank. And that's what REO is. And we're helping you. And lenders repossess 42854 properties in 2022. Now, that's a pretty large number, but considering uh, that's an increase of 67% from 2021, the reason it's such a large increase as well is because in 2020 and 2021, we had moratoriums, moratoriums where we couldn't uh, foreclose on anybody or evict anybody. So therefore, the numbers are coming from a little bit lower. And if you compare it to 2019, which is pre-pandemic levels, we were at 143,955. So you can see we still have a lot of room and we're starting to see uh, an increase in the portfolio. And at the peak in 2010, it was over a million 50 transactions that were occurring on a, you know, were uh, being foreclosed on on a yearly. So that was only about 2.23% of the entire uh, population of loans. And this is just gives you a quick chart of where it's going. As you can see, 2019 is right here, that uh, fourth from the right. Um, and, you know, we're starting to see an increase. So as we're seeing interest rates go up and we're seeing people not have the equity growth as they were having, people might start to get in trouble. And this is why you might want to start getting in on the ground floor with REO and learning about the process, because if they start getting in trouble and then we start having job losses, which the Fed has already said that there's, they're trying to reduce work and increase the rates and they're trying to slow things down. You've all probably already felt it in your market that things are starting to slow down. Things are shifting. Uh, concessions and inspections were a thing of the past, but now, uh, now they're like back in full swing, right? You're giving a lot of concessions. So we're starting to see a shift in the REO market. So this is, if you take out your phones, you're going to be able to do a QR code. This QR code takes you to our uh, REO mastermind group. This REO mastermind group will give you a lot of information. I recommend that any of these uh, groups that you go to, you read the pin post. The pin post is packed filled with information, especially the frequently asked ones, because, you know, we are answering some of these questions and we're saying, hey, this is a trend that they're continuing to ask this question. That answer is probably already there. And what you do when you see the pin post, you might see a see more um, because it's kind of blocking it off. So you're going to click on that. It's going to expand it for you. And we'll try to give you as much information as possible, especially the frequently asked ones. So do you have any questions so far, Carrie? I don't think right. so. Anybody All else? Right. Okay. All right. So um, the, next, <clears throat> the next is what we have. It's a relocation and affinity. I think everybody most for the for the most part knows what relocation is and relocation is when a you have a company or an employer that is going to transfer or move an employee so they might have just got recently hired and let's say they're moving from California to New York that they're going to relocate that employee and that and that happens so there's going to be two sides of that transaction there's going to be the sale of the property and then there's going to be the purchase of the property obviously they're going to be in different potentially in different spots so we in that transaction we potentially can get two leads right one for the sale and one for the purchase so and sometimes not even purchase sometimes it may be a rental but there's also opportunities to be able to do to rental uh, tours where you take them and they'll pay you for that weekend that you spent with them so mm -hmm. affinity is the one that everybody asks what is affinity so uh, with about 10%, 9.8 something, or 10% of the population that moves every year, they're not all work-related relocations. So what a company will do is they'll offer incentives to use, example, EXP Realty. So they'll say, if you use EXP Realty, we're going to give you a concession at closing of this amount. And Affinity, just think of it as a company reward, right? A reward for using our services. And we've uh, partnered up and you know with some clients. They're giving us these leads. And one of the biggest ones is Home Story. I don't know if 
if you you may have received an email from me, you may not have you might have uh, just uh, deleted it thinking it was spam, but I had sent out some emails. Hey, trying to get an information. Uh, for Home Story, Home Story is the one that's giving us a lot of business, and they're ramping up, and they continue to ramp up, and we're doing so well that they were we were going to do this over a few quarters that they started ramping us up almost immediately. So you, our agents, have been doing a fantastic job of making these, uh, making us exceed our expectations, and you continue to do that. So make sure you continue to improve and continue to just do the awesome job that you guys do. And can you uh, tell us a little bit about yeah. that? For those of Absolutely. us that don't know what you're talking about by any chance, can you go into just a little bit more about what that opportunity has looked like for agents thus far? Oh, yeah. So Home Story is qualified buyer leads. So, for example, uh, one of the biggest one is Chase Agent Express. Chase Agent Express, um, they have their own portal. And what they do is the buyer will go into Chase, get pre-approved, and now they need a, I mean, a, a realtor. They already have the lender and they need a realtor. And this is when they send it to Home Story. Home Story then sends out um, for to their network, hey, we have a qualified buyer in your area. Are you willing to take it? You have about 10 minutes to respond and then about an hour to make contact with them. The sooner we can make contact, uh, the better. And sometimes, you know, these people have to buy and sell. So, uh, I mean, sorry, buy and sell, same thing. Uh, sell, sell their home and also buy another home. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you get a listing and sometimes you get a purchase. So similar to that, we are getting some of these deals um, and they continue to grow. This is one of our fastest growing clients. And today, if you're already working with Home Story, we have a Q&A today in about 45 minutes or so in the world. Uh, this is if you're already working with them and you have some questions because you still don't quite understand the program or have additional mm -hmm. insight, it's going to be in the auditorium for REO, uh, relocation REO and affinity. So if you're already working with them uh, and have questions, you're more than welcome to attend. So, and then to join that group, you, this is the QR code. So if you take out your phones one more time, and I'm probably going to do this uh, two other times. So uh, if you take out your phones, like I said, read that pin post. It has a lot of fantastic information available for you as well. So any additional questions? I uh, uh, I, I noticed that I didn't really explain home story. I was just going blindly here. So no, that's perfect. Any questions okay. on that, you guys, or is anybody uh, part of that just out of curiosity at this time? Main auditorium. Y yeah. The, no. The real. Uh, you're gonna go to go to then revenos. Oh my goodness! I see this every day, but yeah, I, it's the revenos. Uh, Revenos, and then you're going to go to the Relo REO Affinity. Actually, if you go to my mastermind page, I have a little short video because uh, they did move our auditorium. I used to be under EXP University, but they now put it under Revenos. So uh, you'll be able to see the, the link on there. I apologize. I, I, I see it every day, but it's one of these <laughs> things you just click through it and I don't know. even think about it. So I apologize for that. Okay. The, the next exciting one is making it rain. Um, you know, all these programs that we do have have a referral fee associated with them, and the client mm -hmm. usually has a um, referral fee as well. Making it rain is for those of you that want to use your KV core and have um, making it rain, uh, which is uh, Kevin Kaminsky, take over your social media and start generating leads for you. This is a monthly subscription fee that you pay them, uh, making it rain. And what they do is uh, any leads are generated or pushed into your KV core, and then you follow up with them. There's no referral fees. It's just a monthly fee available to you. Uh, this one is a great opportunity um, for you to start increasing and generating business and starting to build that uh, database of clients. So this is definitely something that you want to look into. Uh, Kevin Kaminsky does a fantastic job. He's uh, well-versed in social media and just uh, has a lot of wealth of information. And that one right there is uh, that QR code. So that's one more time there with the QR code. Uh, and the last one that we have available for you, and let me know, uh, I'll try to stay on this one a little bit longer. But yeah, making it rain is definitely going to build your business and you get to keep those they're your leads and you're generate you know they're generated for you and you get to work them and as good as possible as best as possible the next one is express offers probably some of you have a oh go ahead i see nicole go ahead nicole you have a hand yep um is uh it uh, 
sorry, EXP Affinity, a certification that you need to get, is that different than REO? Yes, great question. Uh, all of them have a different certification. So yeah, that's a fantastic question. Okay, thank you. We, we do get that asked a lot. Um, so yes, uh, Relocation has their own certification. REO has their own certification. Affinity and Express Offers have their own certification. I don't know if Express Offers, I'm sorry, I don't know if Making It Rain has their certification. I believe it's just uh, their training that teaches you what they do. Uh, but yes, each one has individual certification. I do know... Um, Affinity should be coming up after REO is completed, and we're going to, I think it's in February, and we have a calendar with all the events that we have for revenues, so if you want to know any of our events that are happening in trainings, we have that calendar, mm -hmm. and uh, you'll be able to get that link, um, I, I could probably get it for you before the end of the meeting, so, and uh, yeah, so, if you can, we can put it in our chat here, which would be great, okay, we can do it at the end, if you yes. have time, absolutely, awesome, any other questions? Before we keep going. All right. So Express Offers, you probably already are familiar with it, is the iBuyer program we have here at eXp. So our job as agents, because I am also an agent myself, our jobs as agents is to bring as many um, options available to our sellers. And what iBuyer does is does that for you. And what does that mean? Especially in a shifting market, it gives you an opportunity to be able to bring them a cash offer almost immediately. As long as it meets the box criteria, you put it in there and you have an opportunity. To, look, I already have the offers for you in case you want to take them. Yes, these are going to be iBuyer offers. They're not going to be at 100% retail because they also have to make a profit but at the same time you're presenting them with options you give them the option because sometimes it might be speed that they're looking for to sell it as quickly as possible or even maybe even rent backs so there's options available to them and you're just giving them the option especially now we have a shifting market you know you don't want to be there just not bringing any offers because the market has shifted and maybe we're a little overpriced and you know just buyers aren't really looking as much as they were a few months ago so mm -hmm. this just gives you an opportunity to say look i already have offers for you that you have the ability to mm -hmm. to review so mm -hmm. in order to join that one uh terry jeffries does a great job uh she has a knowledge base that we're all jealous about her because mm -hmm. she has all this fantastic knowledge base available for you to be uh look into uh she has uh people ask us do you have knowledge base like express offers not quite yet <laughs> we're working on it and we're trying to learn from her because she has done a fantastic job of uh, making sure that they're the business unit is uh growing so mm -hmm. there's so a couple new things about that actually too i can't go into more detail but i've been really blessed to be able to be yeah. part of it which is the express offers has now uh, started to partner with uh large investor groups that uh focus on the short-term rental investment side of things mm -hmm. so there are a couple new partnerships there's going to be some new buy boxes and there actually is a couple of companies that are sending out referrals similar to yeah. what you just mentioned to where there's outbound referrals of uh investor buyers going into per with the intention to quickly purchase purchase certain properties for short-term rental investments. So again, this is just a, as the company grows, the influence grows, the agents are connecting people to Revenos. It just keeps bringing more and more opportunities for agents all across the country. Yeah. As soon as you started saying that, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot to say that. <laughs> It's brand new. It, so yeah, the reason it, it I is, know it's because I've been on the ground. Yes, it's, it's it. been on the, uh, yes, we're getting some uh, referral opportunities, uh, yeah. some leads for you to be able to sell some of these homes and uh, be able to help yeah. purchase. So uh, definitely it's a growing side of the business as well. And we're super excited about it as well. Yeah. So, and that's all that I have for like my quick presentations on that. Okay. So let me stop presenting here. And I'm so get let's you unmute that. ourselves, you guys, and talk about, uh, and let's just talk and let's just have some questions. It looks like Matthew Taylor, you were uh, chatting something. Do you mind unmuting and, and sharing or asking the question as well? well I, I, I was in a uh, presentation yesterday about a proposition that we have here in California, and then they were talking about uh, some of the market stuff, but they said JP Morgan is uh, planning on spending a billion dollars in 2023 buying rental properties. So Wow. That's a lot. I'm sure if they are, of course, there's more people. So I think that will. Yeah. So rental properties, investment properties, short-term rentals, believe it or not, um, is on the rise right now. Lots of institut institutional investors. But what that tells us all is also we should be going out there and seeing who we are connected with and networking 
and going and finding investor business, even within our own databases and sphere, because if the large in institutional investors are seeing the opportunity, even the smaller state specific or, you know, city specific or regional specific investors are probably doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good point. Uh we also have, we do have some institutional investors. Uh, they're not REO related and they do actually are looking to liquidate some of those properties. So it may be varying from uh, MSA to MSA, uh, metropolitan statistical area from different area to different area. So mm -hmm. uh, just uh, be aware that some are selling and some are looking to liquidate um, their yeah. inventory. So we do have some of those leads as well. I'm actually looking for uh, some people in that aspect of it. So so we're where do you, teams. where would you, who would receive those leads? How do you go about finding those agent partners across the country? Just out of curiosity, are they first and foremost have to be uh, certified? And then secondly, is there a workplace group that, you know, how are you connecting based on that? I mean, I think that's just good for all of us to know if we want to be part of this, or at least have this opportunity, we've got to be involved in the places that make sense. So any insight to that? Yeah, absolutely. The certification is what really is going to help you come to top, uh, top of mind. And this is one of the places we look for. And what happens is once you get your certification, we send you a profile to update. It's called e-relocations, the system we use. And then you fill out your profile. Uh, the more information you can provide us, the better. So uh, what I mean by that, if you speak different languages, that's going to be extremely helpful. Um, if you also cover different states is extremely helpful. Also, what are your interests? And the reason why they're interests, especially during relocation, uh, it's really important to put in your interests. So for the best example that I have, and I think is one of the great ones is when uh, Dawn mentions that uh, there was a runner who was looking to move. So she put him with another EXP or another agent. I don't think it was EXP, another agent that also did running. And for his tour, he took him on a trail and just ran with a gentleman and he loved and they became friends. So, you know, the more you can find in, uh, in common with the client, the better you're going to be able to provide a fit for the you know agent mm -hmm. to fit them. So this is really important when you're filling out a profile to be as complete as possible. Um, also, the other one is the one that uh, the agent search, the agent directory. Uh, if you put additional languages on that one as well, because we use as many resources as possible, because since not all 86 plus thousand agents are certified, we sometimes have to go look for an area and there's no certified agents in that area. So then we have to look at other sources such as, you know, the directory and sometimes, Hey, like we were looking for a Hindi, uh, Hindi speaking agent in Vermont or something like that. And, you know, our client would be like, Hey, I have some uh, property in this area. I need a Hindi speaking agent or a Spanish speaking agent or a French speaking agent. Can you find it for us? And the more information we have available, the better we can place an agent there. So that's a couple of best practices, you guys. Um, and I've noticed this too, because I've actually had to source referrals for the short-term rental um, institutional investors recently with the business partner that brought that into uh, Revenos. And exactly what Calvin is saying, we first went to see if they were express offers certified because it's the buy box and we want people to have some experience probably working with investors. So again, by doing that free uh, you know, certification, it's just going to help you to be found um, and then there's the express offers workplace group that we would go in and look through or that database of agents, but then we would go into the directory and we would look for people that specifically look listed uh, works with investors short term rental investor um, experience. Um, also in a specific area. So like just because you're in a big metropolitan area, if there's specific subsets of that area that you service at a high level, the more hyper local that you can actually be in your you know, in your, um, in your, in your, uh, comments or in your description of yourself, the better, because when we were trying to go find somebody for a specific area for short-term rental investors, we're trying to sift through all these people. It was more difficult for us to find the right people. So go into your exp dashboard. And when you go to your agent profile and you update all that, that's where it shows up in the agent directory. You need to make that, uh, you know, more relevant and continue to update that. Go get your certification so you're in those groups because oftentimes, I don't know about you, Calvin, but we would go into the express offers group and we would post, we have a referral for this, this, and this. Sometimes we'd have somebody raise their hand and sometimes there wasn't somebody certified there. So then we had to go find people. Absolutely. So I think those are some good best practices is to get 
to get certified and to update your profile. Also behind your name in your workplace, um, in, in workplace, when you go to your profile, you can actually go in and edit your name. And oftentimes if you put a dash and then the areas you service, or if you have a specific, a specific niche in business or investments, or you're certified in express offers or you're REO certified or whatever the case may be, not a bad idea to put some of those things that you really are focused on so that you can be more easily found because occasionally I'll try to just search in workplace. And I, if somebody is good at that, I can find them quick like this. I go to their profile, I can text them in a minute. That's really the power of workplace. And if you're not using it to that level, not only for yourself, but to help find other people, I think that you're really doing yourself a disservice. Anything that you would add, Kelvin, as far as just best practices for agents to take advantage of these uh, referral opportunities and certifications? Yeah, you touched on a lot of them. And what I just did right now is I dropped a link to go edit your profile. And what happened was that when I went to e EXPCon, I got some headshots. And then when I uploaded it through the through Enterprise and I updated my profile, I noticed that half my head was cut off and I was just like annoyed. <laughs> and I started just fiddling with it because I'm a techie. So I like it became a puzzle to me trying to, you know, add add space to it. And I, I kind of was jerry rigging it to get it to work. But then I got I'm like, you know what, there has to be an easier way. And I emailed um, support and I said hey my head is cut off and I'm updating it nothing's updating what's going on here and they sent me a response and then I guess in uh, a typical fashion I didn't read it <laughs> and then I said but no look when I go here in enterprise he's like well if you look at the link it was a different link and this is the link that I provided where you actually go and actually does it real time so as soon as you finish it'll actually you can go refresh and you actually see it done real time and you're able to uh, better adjust your picture so if your head is cut off or you sometimes see where they just see their lower body or whatever you can go adjust the picture a lot better with that and awesome. uh, what Carrie was saying is absolutely correct uh, when we don't find an agent I go look for those keywords so for example we have actually an internal map search that we can do and if i had i look for keywords so i'm looking for keywords such as spanish or french and uh, any accolades you have also help us mm -hmm. so for example um if you are an icon agent and you've been icon agent two or three times in a row put it on there and the reason is when we when it's my job, my job is to find you. And then when I find you, my job, my other job is to go sell you and tell them how great you are. And the more information that I have on you and the more accolades that you are giving me, I can go say, hey, look, you want to work with this agent because you're a three times icon. They're a team member. They do this. They've been number five in the nation. They are number one in their state. They're number one in their county. Whatever it is, all that information I pass on to build you up because my job is to sell you to our client. So, and the more information I have on you, the better it is for me to, and easier it is for me to sell it, to get them excited to use you and say, oh my gosh, EXP has fantastic agents. Yes, we do. And this is the reason why. So the more information you can give me that, the easier it is for me to go sell you because mm -hmm. my job is to sell you our EXP agents. So. Awesome. I love that. I love that. What other questions or comments? Has anybody been part of any of these, had some successes or questions or um, have thought about doing, but haven't for any reason, please don't be shy. I'll go ahead and check and see if anybody on live stream is asking questions as well. We have a number of people watching. No questions from anybody live yet, but hi to you guys. Remember, you can ask a question too. Just chat here and I'll read it for Kelvin. Anybody here on the Zoom? You know, I'm Express Opera certified and I, I just joined EXP in September. So I got that. That was one of the things I thought was beneficial. I haven't done any of those deals because I was kind of out of it for two months for another reason. But I think it's really good. But I'm glad I'm on this Zoom because the, the other opportunities with Revenos, I think, is going to be good. And I like what you said, Carrie, because it's so true that we don't really use workplace enough. So I'm trying to, as I shared with part of Agent Attraction as well, and I have people that joined under me and I'm like, okay, you really need to like log in and really start using workplace because all these things like what you're talking about now, the programs are phenomenal opportunities, especially when a lot of agents are fishing for, mm -hmm. for business. This is one way to get it fairly easily, I think. Yeah. And also um, when you go into our workplace uh, groups, 
uh, we sh uh, the pin post, they usually have our phone numbers. So add those phone numbers to your phone. Uh, one thing I said in Vegas, and I'm continuing to say it now, is add a dollar sign next to those names because money is calling you when you're receiving a call. And the reason is uh, sometimes people just send me to voicemail and I'll leave a voicemail, I'll send a text, and I move on to the next person. And whoever talks mm -hmm. to me and whoever can give me the fastest response is probably mm -hmm. who I might give that uh, lead to. So mm -hmm. just uh, being able to pick up your phone and sometimes we'll do it through phone call, text, email, uh, workplace chat, whatever means that we can get a hold of you. That's the best one we can do. And uh, even just saying a text, hey, you know, I'm on, I'm with a client, I'll get back to you. I'm like, okay, good. And then now I know that I can slow down my search because what I'm trying to do is work as quickly as possible because I need to get back to our client and give them the options. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, anybody who is trying to source a referral, you know, from whatever it might be, it's like speed to lead kind of, right? So whatever we can do to make it easier and faster for to be found by somebody so that we can be readily available quickly for them, that's definitely the best, the best case scenario. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions, you guys? Was this helpful to you? Do you have everything that you need? Do we need to repeat anything? Um, please unmute if we do. How many of you are going to go forth and, uh, you know, update some things and go get a different certification to find opportunities? Uh, maybe just share what, you know, you learned from today and what you hope to take away from it. Because, of course, you guys, we can sit and tell you all these things all day long like we do. But if we're not going and executing on it, we're not getting the opportunities. So I'd love to use this time to for a little bit of accountability and some motivation for all of us, too. Terry, I saw that you unmuted yourself. Hello. Hello. How are you doing, Terry? Good. How are you? Good. Calvin, it's great stuff. I um, just took the four classes for the um, relocation and started the um, REO class yesterday and looking forward to the next three. And that um, it's quite eye opening to see everything what you guys do to just to put in to get things put together. And I'm excited to have the certifications to be part of that program. Oh, we're glad to have you and thank you for coming to class. And one of the things people ask, because we do put uh, preferred qualifications, right? And that does not disqualify you. So if you don't have the experience, it does, everybody has to start somewhere, right? But uh, there was opp opportunities where I would, you know, go and get a new agent because there was no other agent. So I would, you know, get a new agent. I would train them myself, you know, as an asset manager and tell them what to do. But even if you don't get the business, learning how REOs work and seeing the process will help you when a, when a buyer comes ask you questions because people, you hear buyers all the time, I want foreclosed properties, show me foreclosed properties. And then you don't know where to start. Well, all foreclosed properties are usually listed on the MLS. And that's something we try to tell you in the class class as well so that you are aware of this and now you understand the back process so you can better understand them okay you know what they're most likely they're going to do this they're going to trash out the property they're going to clean it they're going to put it on the end either repair it or put it as is and it's going to give you a good overview of what we actually do on the reo listing side so that you know how to approach it um, on the buyer side mm -hmm. now we're eventually going to get to uh, offers and negotiations so that's going to give you a little bit more insight as to how you negotiate it right because uh, a lot of times when I was an asset manager I would counter and people wouldn't come back and they thought well well he countered me so high no I was just waiting for I it's called playing the ping pong game right I have a number to meet and to me it was non-emotional because I was maybe looking at 40 offers at once so I would look at my numbers okay I need to be here so I would counter you like within a maybe 30 seconds, I'd counter you. And then, you know, you would go in and the buyer would overthink it. Oh my gosh, they're never going to accept my offer. And I just needed a response because as you respond, I get to tell my investor, hey, uh, look, we've only been getting, I know we're listed at 400, but we've only been getting offers at 315. And look, mm -hmm. we have consecutive people selling, giving us offers at 315. So I think we are in the ballpark around 315. And mm -hmm. all that information okay. would help me sell that because it's all selling it, right? Sell it to the investor. They, hey, we may, may be overpriced. Or, yeah. you know, all that information is going to help you just get that edge when you're representing a buyer, even if you're not getting all the listings. Right. And I think everyone should remember that when you're working with a buyer in a foreclosure, um, I always tell my buyer clients, you know, look, strap in, hold on, because this is not something that happens overnight. 
you know, you've got to be ready to take the roller coaster ride. And if you're not ready to take a roller coaster ride because you're dealing with a corporation, you're not dealing with an individual. Be ready. And it's amazing how many people will wake up so they can understand that part of the process. But I did have a question. If we move from one state to another, and I see that a lot of the, um, and no one's answered this question for me yet, I see that you have to have like one year experience, two years experience. So in real estate itself, I've got seven years experience, but I just moved to a brand new area. Do these companies look at, you have to have that experience in that area you moved to, or is it the experience overall? That's a great question because it varies on the client. We have one client who's very specific. They have to have a minimum of one year in that market. Then you have other ones that just want you to have the experience. So mm -hmm. it really comes down to what the client is requesting. And my job is to make sure that, you know, you tell me this information. And when I'm calling you, if I'm talking to you so that I can bring that back, I say, hey, look, although he's really only moved in here recently, look how much experience and background he has. This is when I go sell you, right? Because I haven't been able to either find somebody else or maybe you are the best fit because the other person may not have as much qualifications as you. So this is when all that information helps me out to go back to my seller. I'm sorry, my client and tell him, hey, Although this is, doesn't have that time, he has so much background and experience that I think he'll do a better job, even though I do have this other one that might have been living here for that amount of time. Mm -hmm. So having that information really helped me because my job is to sell you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What else? Oh, I have a question because this might actually help Terry. Terry moved to an area where there's a tremendous amount of potential relocation coming there because they're building a large facility, right, Terry? Mm -hmm. um, and now that he is in that area. Yeah, I think there's three large companies moving into the area. But they're about, so, I noticed you guys talk about a lot of things that you want it within 30 minutes or 30 miles. And it's just funny because these three companies that are moving into the area, it's 45 minutes, 40 miles. I mean, it's just outside of some of your criteria as far as that goes, but that's where the three largest developments are coming into the area. Is that really going to knock somebody out from being able to take advantage of that? Similar to what I just said, it okay. really varies because if we, if we think you're the right fit for this person, we're going to try to make sure we sell you as being the right fit for that person yeah. or that yeah. client. So it really varies on the client. And uh, no, it shouldn't, if, if there's, especially if there's no other certified agents, this is going to really help you push you to the front of the line. Yeah, I would say, Terry, you're not, you're in an area that I didn't notice a lot of people because you're in a unique area where it doesn't seem like there's a lot of agents, which could be very valuable to you. But yet these three companies are coming in there. So, but Kelvin, my question was going to be, as Terry knows about these, uh, can he reach out to somebody in relocation and say, look, these companies are coming in. There's these huge developments. Um, we believe that there's going to be some relocation. How can we work together to almost make sure that we can insert ourselves in EXP as a preferred, uh, you know, solution. Is that something that our agents have access to reaching out to some of the leaders in the revenue groups to talk about? Yeah, absolutely. You can, uh, there's a email is relocation at exp realty.net. Um, especially if you know any of the folks that are working, uh, for these companies. So any higher ups, right. That's going to be helpful to try to see if you can, you know, put your foot in the door with all of us, um, because, it'll help us, you know, push the company forward. So yes, relocation at exprealty.net or Cindy Nixon. Cindy Nixon is the director of uh, relocation and or Don Conchitori, either one. Uh, Don, it's going to be Cindy first. And if, you know, if if Cindy might say, hey, we need to go to Don or whatever it is, but Cindy's going to be the right appropriate person is going to be able to help you with that. So Terry, you can go into workplace and work chat, Cindy Nixon, you can find her C-I-N-D-Y Nixon and just message her and say, how can we work together on this? And she'll probably do a conversation with you. Would be great to maybe uh, find out if you can do a little fact finding and say, hey, I'm a local realtor. Um, you know, the cool thing is I've relocated to this area too. So I know exactly what that process is like. I've been in business for seven years. I live here. Um, I want to, you know, help the people that are relocating through your company. Who do I need to talk to about this opportunity? And then based on what they say, you can have Cindy come in and help you. And then hopefully you can maybe find an opportunity to work together, but that's how you guys can utilize Revenos and these uh, different parts of our company to help you guys go find local opportunities when you see things happening in your markets. And I think that's really important to realize that you have access to do this. You just have to know how. Scott, I see your hand raised. Hey, Carrie, how's the 75 heart? It's going awesome. I'm on day 11. You're still alive, right? <laughs> I'm still alive. I have more energy than ever. I'm drinking yeah. a lot. <laughs> water. Hey, how, how do I change my uh, 
where do I put my, my designations or whatever? I, I realize I might have to do shorthand or something. I updated it right next to my last name. I don't think it took. That's typically where we see it, right? You can do it under past. If you want to do it uh, after your last name, if it's too long, maybe that's why it's not taking. You might have to shorten it a little bit. Um, but also, if it's not that, um, then I would say um, what you'd want to do is go into your bio. Do you see the bio down below as well? Yep, I, I added some designations down there. Yeah, so you could do both. Also, go into your agent profile, which is in your expenterprise.com, you guys. expenterprise.com is your dashboard. And when you look to the left side, you're going to see, like, my, I think it says, like, business profile. And then under that, it says agent profile. That's where you update all your information to have it show up in the directory the way you want. You can add things there, too, Scott. Okay, cool. Awesome. Anything else, you guys? So to, know, to learn more about, do I just find revenues in Workplace? Because I've not been there. Do I just go there and then I can get the links to the other certifications in there? Is that right, Kevin? Uh, Kelvin, is that where you would have people go to get more information about all the certification is revenues uh, in Workplace yeah. or just... They, okay. Yes, they can go there and it'll show you the links to all the other ones. Okay. And let me go confirm that because I don't actually know that. Because right when I was scanning the QR codes, it was telling me to log in on my phone and it wasn't logging in. So I'll just go okay. there separately. That was yeah, the I same think... question I had. So thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm in workplace too. Let me, what are you seeing, Kelvin? Okay. I think um, I never went to Revenos. What I typically do is I just go to the individual, but now I see that there is Revenos right. and Revenos has all of them in one, which is great. So if you go into Revenos and you see the pinned post, yeah, it says, how do I get started? Click here. And then it says, click here for a step-by-step -step video to getting to the auto. Yep, I have questions regarding specific revenue businesses. And then it has links for relocation, REO, Affinity, Express offers, and making it rain. It also has an email address there and the names of all of the people that you might need. Perfect. So go to the pin post under Revenos. Just type Revenos in Workplace and join the group. It's open. You immediately get approved. And then you can scroll down and go to the pin post. I'm also putting it in the chat as well. So thank you. I'll put that in our group. Awesome. Awesome. Anything else, you guys, as we're finishing up? Has this been helpful? Very helpful. Thank you. I'm gonna go in and look into the REO one. It's it's a little intimidating because it's just a new style and a new way of thinking. And I'm assuming when you go through it, you'll feel a little bit more comfortable. I've done I've done um, short sale classes, but the whole process being drawn out just is so daunting to me, but I know I need to just dive in for, you know, what we might be up against in the coming markets. And short sale is very, very different from REO. REO, they've already uh, completed the foreclosure. So you it should be a lot faster than a short sale. A short sale, you have to go through the approval process, making sure that they're going through a financial hardship to be able to get them approved. And that can take uh, weeks. So okay. it's very, very different. So Good to know. Okay. Well, I also, I appreciate you for having me on. I do have to jump off. Yes, uh, we do have that Q&A coming up. So we have to make sure we get ready for that one. So I appreciate everybody that made it here. And thank you for having me here. Yeah, thank so Q&A is happening right now. Is that right? Yeah, it's going to be starting in about 10 minutes. Yeah, 12 minutes or so. so all right, you all right. guys, jump Sounds on if good. you can. Thank you, Calvin. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you, Carrie. Bye -bye.